guys. So we're on the way to the gym, and uh, we're gonna do some cardio today. Probably just uh, recumbent bikes. definitely noticed them a couple weeks into it. I guess I, I still notice them because I wake up. Typically, I get up at 6.30 in the morning when the alarm goes off, but I get up at 6 all the time now. I just wake up and I'm ready to go. Um, I still have days where I'm tired, but not like before. I used to be able to sleep all day Saturday, get up, and still have to take caffeine and ephedrine and shit. And uh, I don't have to do that. So I definitely... I don't get more sleep than I was getting, but I use my body's using the sleep better. It's definitely more rested. My recovery is better. Um, my size is considerably bigger. A lot of you guys, you know, comment on that on the videos and notice that um, my fucking shirts are tighter. Um, my waist is bigger too, but I haven't been eating really good. So like, I go between. I really wear 33 inch pants, but I was down into a 32, and now I'm back into 34s. And th some 32s, 34s, just because of. Um, it's just a pain in the ass to find 33s, but the 34s are more comfortable. My legs are bigger. My waist is also bigger. Uh, my stomach is a little bigger. That's that was, but that was part of the goal was to get you to eat right. more. Right, and, that, and that's and that's diet. Like I yeah. still, I did, like you guys see the the lunch and the breakfast and shit. But like I eat when I get home sometimes. Um, the last few weeks I have not been. I've cut out pretty much any alcohol. Um, you know, I was drinking a beer every night or so and uh, I haven't been doing any of that for weeks so I definitely see that starting to work in my benefit again um, strength is up my strength always was big like when I hired Colin Colin had me lifting um, real real light weights just to fix my posture and you know everything up front was big but I wasn't balanced um, so I, I definitely could have gone stronger the last six months but I think that I, I do feel stronger from the from the testosterone for sure. Um, I put this watch on this morning and it's fucking tight, so my wrists are you know bigger. Um, just little shit like that. But I definitely do have more energy. Um, I need to clean my diet up a little bit, and I need to add in more frequent meals again. I haven't been eating enough. We're so fucking busy at work. We come back from the gym. And I don't even make lunch anymore. Um, Colin and Tyler make lunch. They throw a plate on my desk. I eat it real fast, usually while I'm doing something else. And then uh, that's about noon. About 2.30, I go get the kids. So I really don't eat in between. I need to get a, an extra shake or something in there between that. I'm sure that will help. Um, but anybody thinking about doing the, the hormone replacement therapy, like I would say do it. Um, I don't know why you wouldn't do it. Yeah. Like you can live in fear all your life. By the time you're 40, if you're worried about getting something from the from the testosterone, you know, guys about prostate cancer and shit, like chances are you're going to get it anyways. And uh, I don't know, fucking couple years off your life at the end for a better, you know, 30, 40 years. Yeah. I would I would roll those dice. I mean, yeah. I always have been like that though. I'm not I'm not saying that necessarily everybody should do it but if you're if you have the option to do it you should do it and if you have a doctor that won't even talk to you about it it's so commonplace now you don't have to go to a doctor that just specializes in that um, there's doctors all over the place in Nashville and, and even my little ass town here they do it so if you live around here and your your uh, personal doctor won't do it fucking hit me up I'll give you the name of our doctor they'll they'll fucking do them for you with a with a, a consult, you'll have to do a lab work and you know physical and shit. But so fucking what? You know your insurance will pay for it, yeah. and um, my insurance is paying for this. Um, 100. Well, I had 175 dollars for the install or whatever that went to the nurse to put them in, but they pay for the testosterone pellets and everything. And um, even if it was cash, I'd still pay it. I'd do it. Yeah. I mean, look how many guys when we were younger would would buy. You know, black market testosterone or any of the other injectables or orals. I never used any orals, but um, 
fuck I would I would pay for it if it was if I had to pay for it out of pocket I would still pay for it and if I couldn't get it legally at this point in the game I would be looking at other options that are out there it's definitely there the benefit is having being able to do it through your doctors these days having someone who can check your levels and help you stay on track for actual health and not just and a matter you know, of like and you know what you're actually there. getting to yeah. you know you know what's actually in there um, a lot of question as to whether to do you know pin it and do uh, the needle or the pellets the thing with the pellets is it's time to release you don't have the estrogen concerns you don't have to take other shit to counter the estrogen like you do uh, with the needle the pellets are, are slow at uh, time release so you don't have those estrogen spikes I will be getting lab work done here in the next four to six weeks probably so we'll check estrogen levels and see and uh, if I need something for that they'll give it to me and um, I'm probably gonna ask for a little bit more testosterone whether they'll do that or not I don't know um, another quick thing like when we did the, the video driving the car um, some guys came out rapidly saying, hey, get this Dodge SRT. Well, I don't know what it was. Mm -hmm. But the fact is, like, I don't want that car. It, it is not. It's a step I, down. And yeah, maybe it has more horsepower. Maybe it goes faster straight. That's not, that's not what I wanted. I'm not looking to build a really fast, super straight, straight line car. And the thing is, it's still not in the same market. It's not in the same not the same animal you want to convey you know corvette and fucking mustang and um uh, camaro you know it's those those are kind of the same not necessarily all the corvettes but i bought a porsche because i wanted a porsche i bought the second porsche because i wanted a, a a bigger um nicer one and um you guys so rabid about that like just because this is what I bought, it doesn't mean it. That's what you have to buy. Yeah, it's not the Just because I don't want that Dodge car, it doesn't mean you're wrong. Um, keep in mind too, you're comparing a sixty, seventy thousand dollar car to, you know, a hundred plus thousand dollar car. I'm forty three years old. Like when I was twenty, like you guys, you know, recommending that Dodge car, I couldn't have afforded this. So the best I could have afforded, or hoped to have afforded back then, was you know, a Mustang or a Camaro or, or maybe an older Corvette or something. Just because this is what I did doesn't mean that you're wrong because you want something else. So keep that in mind. Like, it's taken me, you know, 25 years to get here. When I was 25 years old, the newest car I ever had was a used GMC Chevy Yukon, a two-door. I still have that car. My, my son has it. And, um, you know, it, it took a long time to do it. So, I mean, set your goals. Figure out what's important. The car thing's fun. You'll have a lot of dudes that, that own a bunch of properties and have a bunch of money invested in shit that don't own any nice cars. It's just not their thing. They'll tell you they'd appreciate and it's a depreciable asset and, and it is and it's not real property. And But who gives a shit? I mean, do what you want to do. Do At the end of the day, do what makes you happy. Figure out why you're doing it. And, uh, you know, do it and get it out of your system. Do the fast car thing. Like, I've got, I've got so many fucking cars right now, I don't have enough garage space to put them in. I'll thin some of those out, get a couple nicer cars, and, you know, be over the car thing. I'll have a couple really, really high ends, and um, still have all my trucks and shit, and I'll fucking go to something else. I mean, we just bought some property. We're looking at some other properties now, um, and buying more property around that, and building a, a custom home and stuff. And uh, just, whatever it is, I mean... Fucking do what you're going to do. But if you come out and tell me, you know, that I'm a fucking asshole, you know, all that looks like is jealousy. If you don't like what I say, you know, more power to you. Go do something else. Don't worry about what I'm doing, though. But the guys that come out and attack us, yeah, we'll interact with them because it fl puts a flame on them. They bought all this shit. Like the difference between two million last year and four and a half million this year. And we still got two months in this year to go. Like I got no reason to believe we won't be five and a half million this year. The only difference is us talking shit to those shit talkers. Like, that's why we do it. So now I'm going to go in here to the gym where, uh, I don't know, what, what 50% of our employees are here? Yeah. A lot well, more about half of our employees. Yeah. We pay them to be here. We pay paid them to drive here, pay them to work out. We feed them afterwards. We fucking cook lunch for them. And uh, you shit talkers paid for that. So I'm going to get out of this Porsche. And there's another one right there that uh, my chick drove here with a couple of the other dudes and uh Colin and I just took this one because I try to drive I try to drive all the cars every week so we've been driving this one this week to the gym and um we're gonna go work out. Sweet.